All right, so here it is. Uh, I unloaded it and then had to take off for New Year's, so I didn't um, get any more sort of footage or anything of it. Um, this weekend, I'll get it out in the light and show you guys and give you a walk around of uh, everything. Um, it's definitely not without its flaws, but they're all things that I'm really happy with that I can live with. It uh, It's just so much better than I thought it would be, so I'm really stoked. And um, you know, it's the only way you learn, just keep doing it, right? But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked with this. If I could do it again right now, I would have done this with three coats of base, not two. Um, but, and then, you know, I mean, I got two coats of clear on it, but it would have been nice to put that second coat on a little heavier. So I had it in my mind that I was running low, so I just went a little bit faster and uh, probably didn't throw as much down as I could have. It's raining outside, it's freezing cold. We're, uh, we're not going to do anything on the car today, are we, bud? It's uh, uh, Monday. I got the day off. And just hanging out. Um, got a bunch of things. A couple little things done. Nothing major. Um, got my hood pinned on and all that sort of stuff. Just roughly lined up. Did all the uh, little bumpers and stops and the, the cow seal and everything. Just stuff I've had laying around, so I just want to get it off the shelves or off the floor or whatever. Um, door seals are in. They're really nice. I'm really happy with those. They fit really... They fit really, really nice and um, really suck down in there. So those on both sides. I was worried that the alignment was going to come out um, when I put these new seals in, but um, yeah, still looks really good. Yeah, a couple things while I was talking about the paint, it's still it's really just been bad weather, so I really haven't had to get any outside, but um, there's a couple little things, like there's some crap there. I think if I sand that down, I'm sure I'm gonna come to uh, come down to primer, so I'm not sure what to do about that. It's pretty minimal. There's also one piece here, there. Yeah, it's all pretty minor for Again, for it being the first paint job, I'm pretty stoked on it. Um, there is a little bit of striping on the trunk lid. You can probably see it there, there. It seems to go away when it's outside, but under the fluoros is where I can really see it. At first, I was thinking this whole edge here was lean on paint, but it turns out that it's actually just the way it reflects. When this is in the sun, you can't see any of that, so, but definitely you can see a couple of the stripes. Um, no, no issue there, but my own fault. Uh, what else is going on? Yeah, the, and then there's just these little, I don't know if it's dust or like solvent pops or whatever you guys call it. Um, it's just a decent amount of that sort of over everything. I don't know if that's something that is going to stand out in the clear or if it's too, uh, too far ingrained to sand out. But the most important part is when stand this far back it looks pretty awesome down here you can see in the light the orange peel still feels smooth but um, I guess as long as it looks better than what I could have done in here I think uh, I think I'm pretty happy with I think the biggest bummer about the whole thing and this is purely on me is this dent right here it totally sucks so I only catch this right at the right angle from this body line and I was wondering how I missed it, but the only thing I can think of is when I was blocking it down, I was probably being a pussy about being here and not wanting to eat into the body line or anything. And so I probably just never actually uh, made it over that when the guide coat was on it properly. So um, it's pretty low, but it looks, it's not very deep, but it looks a lot deeper, of course, with the paint on it. Um, what else is happening? Oh. The trunk seal being in now is uh, it's really puffing it up a little bit. It was higher than this last night, and the seal's been on for a day and a half. So this gap's a little higher all around, but it's certainly something I can live with. This was the run that I saw. Um, get it right. There's a run in the clear. Right, it's hard to tell if, if it's getting picked up. But it's somewhere, I can't tell through the viewfinder on the camera, but, oh, there it is, right there. It's
it's pretty minor. I feel a little dry on the clear right here as well. Just that the door post, the body post looks fine, but the door post looks a little matte next to it. This I'm going to repaint here, I decided, because I was running out of paint. And uh, where this was in the booth, I thought that, you know, I just reached over with the gun and figured I was getting this edge, but it's actually quite gray and quite light on pain here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'll just, uh, I'm going to resand this and shoot it here. Um, it's the same on this edge, probably part of where this was sitting in the booth and it was hard to get to. So my next uh, adventure is this dashboard. Looks pretty worse for wear. And uh, my options are to send it out to the dashboard restoration guys and they charge about 1500 to refix these, to refoam them and vacuum form new vinyl on them. Or get one of those plastic dash caps, which are only about 150 bucks or something. They don't look amazing, but for the price, you can't really beat it. So, you know, just another thing I want to try and a uh, bit of a challenge, see if I can figure it out and why not give it a shot, right? And then worst case scenario, I put the plastic cap on it and I maybe learned a few things along the way, even if it doesn't work out. So, but yeah, that's the biggest one. You can see how, how it bows up and away from the, from the cluster. So I'll have to make sure I can get that, that to this edge to pull down and everything again. So it's square, but anyway. All right. So, uh, I'm just going to, uh, run the orbital over this and see how much of this stuff I can take off. But you know, like I said, every, every piece that I touch cracks. So I, I think it needs to all come off to uh, the point where it's just the foam and then I'll have to build it back up because anything I put over this is not gonna last very long. So yeah, uh, got nothing to lose really. All right, cheers. What's up guys? It's uh, Saturday and it's fix this piece of crap dashboard day. Um, I think I've got some footage of when I took the top off all the cracking stuff. Um, so now I've sort of V'd out the big holes. There was an hole in there, I just filled it. And I got a piece of metal down here and this tape down, um, further down than it needs to go. So I hope by the time I fill it, it will spring back and should be somewhat straight uh, up against the top of the, up against this top edge of the cluster here. So anyway, um, just dremeled this stuff out and using this uh, soldering iron with the uh, this little spade piece thing on there and um, this uh, foam, these foam sticks that came with it, the stuff melts in and it's like, it's like spongy plastic. It's, uh, it's pretty cool so far. Uh, I was a little skeptical at first, but after filling this one, I think this is going to work out all right. Um, I filled, just filled this, this is one stick, filled this top edge here, it's still going to be low, but uh, I figure I'm going to be in this all day, uh, I'm going to fill this one next, and then come back along here. I think my biggest concerns are like this back edge, this leading edge, because this has got to be really straight, because you see this through the windshield, um, and durable, and at first I was thinking this stuff just wasn't going to be durable enough to make an edge out of, and after doing that, um, I think it is. So I think it's going to work pretty cool. So, um, this stuff's called Fiberflex. Um, it wasn't cheap. I think the, the iron was like 75 bucks with a pack of this stuff. And then I think an additional pack was like 25 bucks or something, but, um, I think it might get me out of trouble. So I don't really know what I'm doing with it because I've never done this stuff before. So, uh, I'm just going to try, but this is mega low down here and it was down the metal there so you know and then all i'm trying to do is just wherever i put this put it to vinyl that's still soft so it won't crack underneath it so i think it's getting there so it's just a just a day of listening to zz top and melting this stuff in so guys it's uh it's like one o'clock on sunday got a late start this morning um this is how it's going. Um, yeah, I'm just sort of working on this side, coming up to meet in the middle, and then uh, I'm gonna try and sand it down at least. Like, yeah, this stuff is really soft and it's hard and it's spongy. So, 
that works. So I was able to blend it a little bit just to see how it blends between the uh, the edge. There. Um, I was able to try and blend it against the vinyl just to see how it knocks down. So I think this combined with the uh, the filler might might work pretty good. So I'm gonna keep rolling. I got this much left of that Fiberflex stuff, so probably half the packet. I think it was 30 feet in that bag, so or 30 rods. So maybe I figure this will probably take another four or five. Here it goes. Uh, it's coming along. I pretty much used up all the flex rod. I got four pieces left. So um, this is just after running over it on the 80 uh, on the DA. And um, I know it's upside down, but um, it's starting to level out pretty good. So I think this is uh, this is going to be good enough for that uh, flexible filler to go on. So um, I found two more spots that I wanted to cut back into. So I drilled those out. Filled those. Um, over here, there wasn't really uh, any cracking, but there's two big bubbles in the vinyl, big hard bubbles. So I cut those out and filled them. And uh, same with the corner and glove box. And there was some cracking here, so I just took that out. So I'm probably just going to mix up some, some of that padded filler now and then uh, wipe that across the top and build it all up and see how it goes from there. All right, cheers. All right, so there it is. Just got a big thick wipe of that crap on it. Um, so I'm not gonna have time for this to fully cure before I start seeing it tonight, so I'll have to leave it. So next weekend I'll uh, just knock it all down and see how it looks, like see if I can even, you know, see if it's even gonna blend on the edge and all that. Like this will be the really test. Right now I feel like it's 50-50 at the moment, um, but we'll see. My only complaint is this little piss ant can they give you and it's like friggin 28 bucks or something so you know so that's no fun um so and i'm sure i'm gonna have to get another one because that's the entire can i got two good wipes over the whole top of the dash um but i'm sure we'll uh, i'll start coming across some lows and stuff once i knock it all the top off it but uh for the most part it's covered so yeah and then really just want to see how it'll blend along that and we'll see how it goes What's up guys? It's uh, been a while since I've done an update. I can't remember what we left off, what I've been doing. Um, I'm busy with some other stuff, finally getting back on the car. Uh, let's see. A bunch of odds and ends come in. Wiring, I'm going to start on that pretty soon. Battery tray. Um, gas pedal bits. The last couple body plugs for the floor. Latches, door locks, all that crap. Um, got this one in and all sorted and it's it's working everything's good and nice um I'm, so I just used all my old rods and everything had to get new nylon ones of these but anything else that i could keep i would i really hate buying new handles and stuff because these ones are absolutely fine and perfect the originals but it's like the cost to send this thing out and get it refinished in time is like it's like you know it's gonna take a couple weeks and the pair of these new ones was like 60 bucks or something so unfortunately you can't beat it because I really hate using stuff when I don't have to um, especially original stuff it just feels nicer what's up guys it's uh, Sunday um, I ended up doing a bunch of stuff yesterday afternoon so I didn't really get back on the car um, I got the body plugs in it's not very exciting um, yeah, the brake pedal's hooked up now, so I got um, completely hooked up. So now clutch and brake are pretty much ready to go. I just need fluid. The whole brake system's finally plumbed, so that's good. So it really just needs to be bled, so that's nice. Uh, I got all the inner fender bolts in. They're actually the whole lot of them. Um, I see so many times people uh, work on these cars and they just usually have like one or two bolts back in there and the thing rattles around and I just, you know, Put a stencil on the dash. I can't remember where I showed you guys where I'm at. I also hate the fact that I'm now one of those guys who keeps stuff on the roof of other cars, but uh, I assure you it's only temporary. Um, I've done a couple passes at this dash. I'm still 50-50 on whether it's gonna work out. It really does sand down nice and flat. Um, these are just some low spots that I came in and refilled. Um, every time I say uh, I don't think it's going to work, I sand it and do a couple more little fills and it gets better. So I'm going to keep working at it and just um, hope that uh, 
Yeah, worst case scenario is if I fail it, I'll just put a dash cap on it. I see everyone's doing some really good progress. Um, uh, sorry, I've been a shithead and I haven't really been commenting the, um, on everyone's videos. I'm watching everything, but the thing that I watch videos on, it's a real pain in the ass to leave comments on. So, I kind of don't at the moment, but I try to do it whenever I get a chance. All right, guys, uh, cheers. Well, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I can't remember where I left off and what's happened, but uh, I think the dash is ready for primer. This dash padded filler stuff that comes in the piss ant cans, um, it's working out all right. It's pretty smooth. I had to just add this last piece here, so I'm just waiting for that to dry before I hit it. But anyway, uh, maybe try and get some primer on it today. These were spots where the vinyl had actually bubbled. It wasn't cracked, it was just lifting away. So, um, so I hogged out the, uh, the old cracked dry vinyl and then filled it and sanded it and everything. So I think it's gonna be all right. Same down in the corner for the glove box. Should be fine once it's in the car. All right, cheers. All right, here it is. I really don't know how this primer feels. So I'm just gonna, uh, I got it all down in 220 and you know, it's blended as good as I could. I can't feel it. So I'm just gonna spray one coat of primer on just to sort of see where it's gonna get me. So this is a primer that was suggested with the uh, the people that make that foam dash filler stuff. Um, and it's it's just nothing. You just open it. I guess it's catalyzed by the air because it's uh, no need to catalyze all seasons. All right, well, uh, Things are looking good. There it is after its first coat. Still flashing off a little bit. Um, it's really not that bad. You can kind of see a couple of the waves and the bumps under the vinyl, but this is just the primer still. So these little imperfections, which is the new foam that I melted in. And what I learned is that the foam itself is harder to sand than the old vinyl. So. While I'm trying to sand that new melted in foam, I just kept lowering the vinyl around it. So, I mean, it's pretty damn nice. It's a lot better than what it was. And it's still like squishy. So that's the whole point, right? Um, so this is, this is two coats of primer. So I'm gonna let this cure this week and then uh, I'll sand it again next weekend and see how it's looking and then probably a apply the final texture rubber stuff and uh yeah it's, i mean i'm calling this pretty rad i'm pretty stoked with that it's definitely not perfect like you can see here the corner where i had to rebuild this corner where it was all gone the shape's a little gone in it but i think that with another round of uh primer and sanding i think i might be able to get that down just good enough and for me especially because you're kind of going to be looking at it sort of like this obviously with the new bezel and stuff in it it's pretty darn good and i've had a bunch of pots showing up this week like a uh, fuel line new tank some uh thermo barrier because i want to get the stuff done for the firewall so i can put the wiring in so i don't have to do all that all the wirings in there sending unit uh brackets for the bucket seats a bunch of little bits and pieces for the pedals and springs and stuff like that just all that crap on the firewall so things come along so the next week or two i should make some uh, really good progress all right cheers okay it's sunday and i haven't done any updates for a while of course i'm gonna try and string all this crap that i got together and make a video but uh i got the first sort of round of texture paint on the dash i did one more round of sanding and filling and uh, I think it's pretty good. It's still flashing off. I can really smell it. So it probably will lose a little bit of sheen. It's hard to turn the light. But it's definitely, uh, it's definitely come a long way. So I'm pretty stoked with it for all it's worth. And save me 1500 bucks. I'm probably like 350 bucks into it. I think maybe 400 by the time. If, if you include everything, sandpaper, gas, whatever. Um, but yeah, 
I think it looks pretty good. So that's two lightish or medium coats of the textured stuff and I still have half a pot left. So I'm just gonna let this flash off and through the week and see if it loses any gloss or if, if I need any texture somewhere else. But uh, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome, I'm pretty stoked. Um, some other things that I got done was this ceramic stuff. I can't remember if I showed you guys. So, so then next up's the heat um, dynamat, whatever. And that's about that. 